Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Elements of a lesson plan, instructional plan, or learning plan. Let's study several samples of lesson plan. Dr. Madeline Hunter's research indicates that effective teachers usually include the following elements in their lessons. Anticipatory set, a short activity, dispatch, or prompt that focuses the student's attention and ties previous lessons to today's lessons. Purpose, an explanation of the importance of this lesson and a statement concerning what students will be able to do when they have completed this. Input, the vocabulary, skills, and concepts to be learned for a language class. The teacher provides the information needed for students to gain the knowledge or skills through lecture, film, tape, video, pictures, and etc. Modeling. The teacher demonstrates what is to be learned. Once the material has been presented, the teacher uses it to show students examples of what is expected as an end product of their work. The critical aspects are explained through labeling, categorizing, comparing. Students are taken to the application level or problem solving, comparison, or summarizing. Guided practice. The teacher leads the students through the steps necessary to perform the skill using multiple modalities. An opportunity for each student to demonstrate grasp of new learning by working through an activity or exercise under the teacher's direct supervision. The teacher moves around the room to determine the level of mastery and to provide individual remediation as needed. Checking for understanding. The teacher uses a variety of questioning strategies to determine the student's understanding. Determination of whether students have got it before proceeding. If there is any doubt that a class has not understood, the concept or skill should be retaught before practice begins. Independent practice. The teacher releases students to practice on their own. Once the pupils have mastered the content or skill, it is time to provide for reinforcement practice. It is provided on a repeating schedule so that the learning is not forgotten. It may be homework or group or individual work in class. It can be utilized as an element in a subsequent project. It should provide for the contextualization. Enough different contexts so that the skill or concept may be applied to any relevant situation, not only the context in which it was originally learned. The failure to do this is responsible for most student failure to be able to apply something learned. And closure, a review or wrap up of the lesson. It is the act of reviewing and clarifying the key points of a lesson, tying them together into a coherent whole and ensuring their utility and application by securing them in the student's conceptual network. For UBD, the parts of an instructional plan follows the acronym WHERE TO. W, where and why. It answers the question, where will I help my students to know where they are headed and why they are going there and what ways will they be evaluated along the way? H. Hook and hold. How will I hook and engage the learners? How will I keep them engaged? E. Explore and experience, enable and equip. How will I equip students to master identified standards and succeed with the transfer performances? What learning experiences will help develop and deepen understanding of important ideas? R. Reflect, rethink, and revise. How will I encourage the learners to rethink previous learning? How will I encourage ongoing revision and refinement? E. Self-evaluation. How will I promote students' self-evaluation and reflection? T. Tailor and personalize their work. How will I tailor the learning experiences to the nature of the learners I serve? How might I differentiate instruction to respond to the varied needs of students? And O. Organize for optimal effectiveness. How will you organize the learning experiences for maximum engagement and effectiveness? What sequence will be optimal given the understanding and transfer goals?